because I'm not a squirter. I'm a green one. Every time I said I squirted, I pissed on you, nigga. <laughs> to my channel if you're new here hello this channel is all about me clearly my locale corona and random randomness and fun my afro is real dry sorry you're returning hey you all i'm being consistent again <laughs> so to make this video about orgasms and demanding your orgasms ladies and ladies <laughs> i spent a lot of my life okay a lot of my life not demanding orgasms. Like, letting these men enter my beautiful vessel and pretend like I'm coming and I'm not. Like for a long time, and I'm 30, 30. I didn't start demanding orgasms until like 29 and a half, okay? So, uh, you know, I say F men and don't nobody need no nigga or blah, blah, blah. I do. It hurts sometimes. Oh, I hate that I'm saying this, but sometimes it hurts to hurt a man. Like, like, damn, I really, that stung. Because like, I don't know how to cushion stuff for men. Because men don't cushion stuff for women. Like, they're kind of assholes, so like, I match energy. So, for the longest, I wasn't telling these men that I, was, I wasn't orgasming, because I was like, how do I just say, like, nigga, I'm not coming, get the fuck off me. But now that I'm older, like that's how you say it. So it's kind of like, bruh, like you just gotta start getting open with these men or these people. There are, there's a subset of women out there, and I only say this because of Twitter, that are like, oh, I don't need to have an orgasm. It pleases me to please my mind. I can't imagine sleeping with somebody, giving my good wet wop to somebody, and I'm not getting pleasure. Like we have an organ called the clitoris. I know you a lot, a lot of you men don't know what that is, but we have an organ that was made just for pleasure. The clitoris has nothing to do with birth. It's nothing like, it's it's God put there or whatever you believe in, put it right there in the middle just for pleasure. Some people go all around it, but they won't do anything with it. And I don't think men take the time to study a woman's body. I have been with men where I'm like, damn, like you have been with a lot of women, which I personally like. I need to be with a man who's kind of slept around, that's also clean, but because like they're a little bit more experienced and they've slept with so many different types of women or people, um, so they kind of know their way around the woman's body. I can tell off rip when someone I'm sleeping with either doesn't have enough, a lot of experience or just truly does not give a damn about women's pleasure. I can tell when a man cares or when, yeah, cause I've only slept with one woman. But I can tell when a man is personally into my pleasure when foreplay is like a thing for them. I can just tell when a man is trying to please me and is like focused on my orgasm. The foreplay is great, the head is good, there's nipple play, they're kissing on my neck, they're caressing my butt, they're listening to my body. Like when they touch me in certain places, if my body responds, if I audibly respond, then it turns them on more. But there's other people who just wanna flip me over because I have a fat ass and just ram it in the back and go about the business. No more of that. No more of that. I let that go on too long with several people. First of all, those people never have me again. And one thing about me, one thing about me, I don't double back. Like when I'm done with you, I'm done with you. If you're done with me, never hit me up again, I'm good. So I have been really taking, or demanding my orgasms seriously. And I know some people might be watching this as a woman or as a baby and be like, how do you demand an orgasm? If you are in the act of having penetrative sex and it does not feel good, it, no matter how hard it is, tell them to stop. Let's let's rewrap. There's no, having sex is so intimate, you should be able to be honest and vulnerable in that moment. If anyone's shaming you during sex, if anyone's like making fun of you during sex or uh, making you feel uncomfortable, you they should not be in your space and you should like stop that and let it go. But for me, I might be like, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's stop, hold on. 
that doesn't feel the best like let's try it this way I take a little bit more control um, because sometimes like all they're doing is poking me and I'm like okay this is doing nothing so I'm I'm very um, clear if I'm giving instructions so great example okay sit down <laughs> ah, not too long ago and I was like, okay, yeah, cool. Like, this is nice. Like, uh, but no, I'm not feeling the rhythm. So I was like, okay, stop. Slow, slow. Then I was like, middle, middle, side, side, middle. And then like, we got a rhythm. And I was like, ooh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Then I was like, now. Pull my motherfucking hair. When you pull my hair, it activates the glands down there for me. Personally, that can choke me, activates. Pull my hair, then I was like, okay, yeah, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Fast, pound, boom. He got his, I got mine. But it took me having to re-wrap and like be honest in the moment, like when we first started off, it wasn't working. It wasn't working. But guess what? Just because it's not working in the beginning doesn't mean that that person's not capable of, of helping you achieve orgasm. But also achieving orgasm takes your ownership as well. Like I beat my meat so much, I know it makes me come. So there's no reason why I should not come every single time I have sex, period. But I won't come if I'm not honest with these people, with these men. So I'm honest now. And I'm like, that don't feel good. Or a little to the left, a little more. Like I'm just, we're, we're in this together. If you're gonna have all your white cream all over me by the end of this, all my white cream needs to be on you because I'm not a squirter. I'm a cream. Every time I said I squirted, I pissed on you, nigga. <laughs> no, I squirted one time. I squirted one time when I had uh, anal sex. But that's it. So, yeah. Sorry. It's me. Also, like, take charge. If he's not doing it right, I swear to God, this always works. Let me, let me tell you one thing that do work. Let's say he's pounding and you're bored. Like, Ugh, then this is what you do. Okay, stop, get off. Make that nigga get off. Do whatever position you do, beat your own meat right in front of him. Come, throw the toy wherever you gotta throw it, put in your little bag or whatever, go to sleep. Try that. It's gonna hurt the ego, but it's gonna send a very clear message. Trust me, baby girl. Trust me, baby girl. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a uh, comment down in the messages or leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know how you demand your orgasm. If you're a man, don't tell me how you demand your orgasm. Y'all orgasm I'm just at the thought of some pussy. So, mm, I don't care. But when, ladies and ladies, how are you demanding your orgasms? How are you taking your power back? Give me some tips, because I'm trying to come every single day. Period.